myth. Stop on volleys, stop on approach shots. You'll hear some commentators on TV that'll say, well, you want to stop on your approach shot. But keep in mind, a lot of top players, they don't say what they do or do what they say. That's why it's so important to look at film. Tennis terminology is a lesson unto itself. The approach shot. Remember, you've heard that before in this course. The airplane is approaching the runway. You move through the approach shot because your goal is proximity to the net. When you hit the approach shot, the approach shot is the, the cash-in shot, the volley is the, the money shot. When you hit a volley, if you stop, it's been proven that a, with, with a force plate that the body goes down. The body's the leader, the racket will go where the body goes. Same principle when you wear a seatbelt. A car abruptly stops and the passenger goes this way. You're on a tennis court, the tennis player abruptly stops. Not only is the tennis player, but the racket goes this way and we end up making mistakes. You want to move through the approach shot. You want to move through the volley. That doesn't mean that um, all three-quarter court shots, you move through them. It's just an approach shot's an approach shot. You move through it. It's a momentum source of power. You're going to hit a ball much harder when you get set and you use the tennis court as, as a stabilizer, a ground reaction force. But volleys and approach shots, you want to move through them. You don't want to stop for more control.